Hi, this is Freddy from Binsmith, bringing you an, another new feature in Revit. For this one, we'll be going over Tobo solids. Previously in Revit, when you think of system families, you think of walls, floors, ceilings, roofs. You never really think of topography as a system family. And that's mostly because topography never really had as many options or uh, capabilities as the other system families. Well, Revit has changed that here with Topo solids. If you select the topo solid that I have loaded here, you'll be able to see that we do now get a property box for this topo solid. Um, just like any other system family, we have a structure and we're able to add layers. Um, so just like a floor, a ceiling, a roof, wall really, you're able to add a thickness, a material. Um, you also get all the graphic options as well, the course pattern, the course color, and you even have some options here for a constant display. Just like any other system family then, you also get all the parameters, identity data, IFC parameters, uh, and you can also add parameters to this, um, which will help you with your scheduling. One thing you will notice as well is we also have dimensional information here. Um, out of this does say it should be more accurate than the topography, so that's also really good to see. Um, so if you do have projects that you already have the topography loaded, Autodesk did add the ability to be able to transfer it over. So you now get this generate topo solid option. Real quick and easy, you select the level, which you expect from the system family. Uh, select the type. In this case, I don't, I don't have any loaded, so we'll just create a topo solid one. And just like that, it should create it. The one thing to note is uh, the pads don't automatically get created. Um, you actually have to create voids to be able to clear out your spaces. Um, there is news of a tool coming soon to be able to help with that process, but for now you do have to use voice to be able to get that space. But once you do have it in place, uh, you do obviously get all the benefits of a system family, um, not only the scheduling and the accurate representation, but you also start to be able to host things to it as um, some of you might know that topography wasn't always the best case to be able to host families to it. So. That is a better process now with this tool and uh, should be pretty nice to start using it.